hey guys look who it is what is up so um i'm eventually gonna have a little thing we do or you know what i'm probably not you know i'm gonna probably keep it real and just i'm probably not gonna remember um to even come on here and do the same thing each time i'm probably just gonna greet you guys and we're gonna go on about our video baby we just gonna keep it rolling um i'm gonna do a quick q a that I asked people on Instagram to do. Um, uh, asked me a few questions. It was probably about like seven questions. I try to, you know, I don't like to hear myself talk too much, but just for the first video, you know, I don't mind talking to y'all a little bit, you know, y'all a little something. But um, I answered, I asked everybody to ask me a few questions. Most of them were about my brand and some makeup. And I got y'all, because I knew y'all was gonna ask about makeup. <laughs> Um, it said, how did you start clothing? Clothing came from me. First, my friends inspire me all the time with clothing. And just, they all have different tastes. Um, I wanted to originally do... <clears throat> sorry, I don't got corona, don't worry. Um, I wanted to eventually do a um, bathing suit line for them. And that's how I was going to... That's how I originally started clothing. It was like to do a bathing suit line, get them into some bathing suits. Each one was dedicated to them. Um, I mean, they had their own one that was like specifically dedicated to them and it just reminded me of them. I mean, even down to the color, the fabric, what it was, thong, boy, short baby suit. I had it all set it out for them. Um, Something happened and then I originally went into making the dresses. I got uninspired for a little while. Like I was just not into clothes for a long time. Of course, me dressing I was, but I'm saying like into making stuff for people to buy. Mm. I just wasn't feeling it for a real long time. I think it was about two years. And then that's when recently I like just started. Like it was just I was just sewing at first. And then next thing you know, I started making dresses. And then it just went from there, which has been great. And it helped me a lot during the pandemic and everything. It's just been such a humbling experience starting clothes. Um, I say when did I start? I originally say I started about three years ago. Especially when I bought my sewing machine, y'all. I got it for like a hundred and something dollars off of Amazon when it was originally like priced at five. And I couldn't understand why Amazon had it so cheap, but it worked for me. One fifty better than five hundred. Five fifty. Um, it say how tall are you? I am four eleven. I'm small, almost like a baby. I'm very tiny. I wouldn't say very tiny because it gives a little thicker than a sniffer, but I'm small. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's probably taller than me. So, hey to my small girls. Hey to us. Because we know we're, we're a group ourselves. Um, they say, what's next for your brand? What's next for my brand would probably be, hopefully, like, some... Hopefully, we could get some, like, bathing suits. And I was going to say sweatsuits, but I'm probably not going to make the winter collection. I did my um Lord track suits. If you haven't get, got you one, go ahead. Go on my website. And purchase yours in all colors. <laughs> um, but no, I'm probably not going to do I don't know if I'll make some sweatsuits. Maybe I could throw a little something in here for everybody. But I don't know. I really cannot give what's next. Hopefully some bathing suits. That's what I'm shooting for. Because I know myself. And I got a lot of things that I'm trying to do right now. And like get in order. Especially with the pandemic. I hope everybody's been safe, clean, corona free. The pandemic has been fucking crazy. And... I'm glad everybody's like, you know, hopefully nobody's getting sick and everything's getting better. I pray, we're praying on it. Um, and say, how did you get into designing your clothes? You're so talented. Thank you so much. That means a lot. It's literally. And I know this was a girl that said it, so it really means a lot. Thank you so much. I feel like women should support women more. Like, it really, I mean, I take compliments to heart and I really appreciate them, especially coming from girls. Um, I take them to heart. I really think that's nice i try to compliment girls as much as i can like not in that way but like compliment them as much as i can because you never know how like and i genuinely be liking the things i don't compliment on everything but like if i genuinely like it i do compliment it because you never know how that can make somebody day or how somebody feeling that day like just say it i don't have no pride <clears throat> with complimenting people i really don't think like that if it's cute it's cute i'm saying it's cute woman not men um, it says beginner tips. I assume that you're talking about makeup. You know, um, I would say a beginner tip for makeup. I would say finding the right foundation. That was hard for me. I don't know if it was hard for anybody else. 
but it was hard for me i had i went from fit me fit me actually broke me out i don't know if anybody else had this problem i'm <clears throat> sorry I had this problem with fit me like it was it literally broke me out i think my skin changed from high school and then i had to go and get me something else fit me is a great brand though but and it worked for my like my clients that i'm starting to get it works for them but it don't work for me but i mean i use their um what is it i use some of their satin powder which is rare because i use revolution satin powder now but um i use some of their satin powder and it doesn't break me out i think it's just the foundation um but i would definitely say some beginner tips is finding your right foundation um making sure you don't have any flashback that was something that a lot of people um got onto it was just kind of checking the flashback i would say the best way to test it out is to, is to have your phone camera and to turn it around see put the put the flash on there do that little 360 real quick and see if you got any flashback whatever flashback is important like now you're trying to be funny you take pictures and you got some flashback baby take the flash off and fix your shit okay <laughs> because honestly i know i'll be looking fucked up i ain't gonna say y'all be looking fucked up because y'all don't you're, my girls got a lot of lot better with flashback but when we was in high school i'm just gonna be honest my shit had flashback i don't care what nobody say like it might not have been that bad but like Somebody could have told me I looked that fucked up. <laughs> like, I really, I don't know what I was doing. I wasn't even wearing, y'all, I wasn't even wearing um, foundation in high school. Like, nobody could have, nobody told me that. Like, what the fuck? I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I even got my makeup done a couple times. I should have known it was another step I was missing. I didn't know. I didn't pay that no attention. Like, I literally started wearing foundation in 12th grade. Anyways, I would definitely say foundation, flashback. And setting powder if you wear set if you have oily skin i have like combination skin i would say it could be dry sometimes it could be oily sometimes it's both who fucking knows but um i would definitely say the right setting powder um setting powder goes a long way right now i'm using revolution i'm gonna show y'all i know i'm getting far into this question but i love makeup questions so if you ever have a makeup question dm me and we can talk about makeup all day um Okay, it's old job, but I'm using this. I'm almost out of it. It was like, I think, I don't even know how much this was. Honestly, it might have been free. <laughs> like, no, but it's Revolution in a shade Banana Deep. Which shock me, mommy, because y'all know I'm black. Um, the Banana Deep. Best thing, I use setting powder and setting spray. Today I didn't, but I use setting powder and setting spray. So this, ooh. This is the best setting powder to me. Yeah. I use this for my face and my clients. I got they got their own, but you know, and here was theirs wasn't free. Theirs was paid for. Okay. Um. Anyways, <laughs> uh, makeup tips again. Yeah, those are my makeup tips. Those are I mean, as when I get further along in my makeup, you know, path, I we can talk about makeup all day. I think I'm still learning. I'm still even finding out work, what works for my clients and like people new people that come to me which i love because i'm trying to get into this people's person like you know comfort zone with myself because i really don't talk i'm chill super laid back i mean i'm outgoing i'm outgoing but i mean i'm super laid back for the most part don't talk but i'm trying like with my clients now like the little bit of clients i do have like they have i'm learning like i'm learning how to talk to them and, like, just, you know, make people feel comfortable, too. Because, shit, they came. You know, but let's talk. Like, let's, even if you don't want to talk, you're having a bad day, boo. Sit in. We're just going to get you cute. That's what we're going to do. Um, What am I most interested in? I'm most interested in makeup. I mean, I love my clothing brand. It's everything to me. It got me so far. Like, it was the best experience. But I would say I'm most interested in makeup. I do makeup no matter what mood I'm in. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm the saddest. I get up and do my makeup all the time. It always keeps me going. Like, I'm, that's just what I love. So, that would probably be what I'm most interested in out of my two career paths. Other than cybersecurity, everybody knows I'm like a big cyber freak. Sorry, I don't know if everybody knows that, but you do know now. I'm a big cyber freak. I love cybersecurity, and I love anything that involves, like, hacking and stuff like that. Because high school, they let us hack. Anyways, but yeah, um, 
I don't know if I'm going to do another Q&A. Um, I don't like talking. Um, I want to do vlogs. I want to like let y'all see me and like having fun. If you know, then you know because I'm drunk. <laughs> like real drunk. It'd be the Henny. The Henny Nuggets. Baby. <laughs> no, for real. Y'all know. You know and you follow me on Instagram. I drink. And y'all probably going to see a lot of that because I drink. I drink, drink. But I'm small, y'all. It don't take that much for me to drink. So don't be thinking I'm like no fish. I'm really little. So, yeah. But um, I don't know if I'm going to do another q and I asked you guys like three, four times. I really wanted to keep it small, so I'm glad. It's like, thanks. But, um, yeah. So hopefully we'll do some vlogs. I'll probably record again. Hopefully soon. This was just like a test run. But hi, you guys. And hopefully y'all like and subscribe. I don't know what we're going to call us. You know, I don't know if you guys want to call us anything, like have our little group or whatever. Hopefully down longer down the road, maybe we could do the names and the intros and all that. But for now, let's just be us. Anyways, you guys stay safe. It's been a pleasure. And um, yeah, I'm about to go drink. <laughs>